Hi, I'm Casey Johnson. I'm a fourth grade math teacher, and today we're going to talk about how you can help your elementary students understand algebra concepts. One of the most important things they need to know first is what this equal sign means. To most elementary students, they think it means the answer comes next. They need to have a discussion about that it means these two sides are balanced. They're used to seeing this, but if you put this in front of them, it'll throw them off. They have to understand that this is like a, a teeter-totter that's balanced. And as long as both sides have the same amount, the equal sign can be in the middle. Once they get that, algebra will come a lot easier to them. Um, the next thing that's hard for them is understanding what it means when you have a letter in a problem like this. So you have to teach them. This means three times blank equals nine. Start here. When you're doing something like this, they'll have no problem figuring out that a three goes in that blank. Then all you have to do is teach them that when you have a letter next to your number, that just means there's an invisible times and that N is a blank space. So what goes in the blank? Well, like we wrote here, a three does, so they would write N equals three. Highly recommend you use N or maybe A instead of X for your variable. If you use an X, elementary students will read that as three times. To them, the X is a times. So you don't want to do that and get them confused. So save that for maybe junior high. Use N or A for that unknown.